twenty past seven on day nineteen. And as you may or may not be able to see, for the last hour or so, rain has been lashing the camper van. And uh Andrew is currently preparing to go out in it. Yep, yep, this is no. part of the preparation. No. <laughs> It appears to have gone back to bed. It's freezing! It is cold. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I shut the window a while ago. Uh, not only because that road started to get noisier. Um, it got cold. It got cold. There was, there, was, there, was a, there was a wind howling through. Howling's the word, it was howling. And, uh, so, yeah. I'll be off in a minute, though. Yeah. Righto, righto. You're, you're the other man. <laughs> you know. Uh, good, good, good luck with it. What's the matter, Andrew? I'm up. I'm up, Ian. You're further, <laughs> you're further down than you were when you started. I'm out of bed. So, uh, we're just moving off from our overnight stay. Hearty manoeuvring his vehicle. Um, we're going a bit late this morning uh, because uh, I've only got a short one today. Um, the rain was coming down quite heavily uh, and Corbridge is quite a small little town and we knew we'd be standing outside to fundraise so it seemed pointless going off too early when we weren't going to fundraise so uh, I should be there for before half past nine so we'd get uh, around four hours of fundraising done. How was your uh, short morning run this morning, Andrew? Uh, well, not great. I think the mornings are the hardest always because my body isn't really warmed up. But yeah, it just a bit really hurts now. But it's all good. We're not far away really from the end, so just keep going. Every painful experience is one painful experience closer to the end. What's the plan now? Uh, we're going to go into Waitrose and the Tesco. Uh, we're going to try and see if we can do some fundraising. I'm not particularly confident. As you can see, I'm a bit damp, uh, but that was literally just getting changed in the van and getting to Ian, who's about 500 yards away. Uh, so yeah, and as you can see, it's really starting to shift now. Um, we've raised a lot of money. No. Um, so uh, yeah, we've raised probably about over 100 pounds now, I'd say. Um, so it's good. Keep going. Hard to stay here for a bit. She want to get wet, mainly probably. And uh, I'll end up somewhere down the A68. Hello, uh, just got back to the van after four hours of fundraising at Co-op, who uh, very generously let us stand outside their their shop. Um, the people of Corbridge were very, very generous indeed. Uh, only a small little town, a tiny little uh, little Co-op shop, and uh, we seem to have done quite well. Let's have a, have a look. Look at that lot. Money in there. Um, Andrew's counted up his bucket. He did about two hours, and uh, I'm going to have a count of mine and uh, make some lunch, and then uh, then I'm off to go and find him. So uh, see how he's getting on. Hello. Oh, all right. How was that? That was fun, wasn't it? How did you find driving that? That was pretty scary. Yeah, you feel like the hills were so steep, you felt like you were going to topple off the edge. And, definitely, uh, definitely. I had to, uh, it was lots... quite steep though, part, so I don't know how you did that. There were lots of sprinting involved to make sure I was out of the way of traffic coming one way before the traffic came the other way. And also hiding in verges and always breaking my legs when I couldn't see what I was standing on. Good times. My poor polished legs are starting to look a bit ropey. But no, that wasn't great fun, to be honest. Did you get wet? Uh, no, it didn't really rain too much. Uh, just got stung by lots of bloody stinging nettles and things. Hi there, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. About this time last week, you were in York. A week later, are you nearly in Edinburgh? Uh, I'm in Corbridge now. I think it was, um, I spoke to you on Monday, didn't I? I can't remember now. Yeah. Yeah, so I've done uh, a few more miles since then. I'm 15 miles past Newcastle. Um, 15 miles past Newcastle, so you're not too well. You're better than you were this time last week. Let's put it like Yeah, so I've got, I think, just less than 90 miles left to go now, so I should finish on Wednesday morning, I think. 
the end goal is yes. in sight. How are you feeling though? How are you bearing up? Uh, really sore now uh, and I'm running on the, the dodgiest part of the A68 where it's not very wide, lots of blind summits and I have to do lots of sprinting between cars. Just remind us where you're doing this again. Uh, yeah, basically my granddad died in 2006, he suffered loads of strokes and he was from Scotland and I've lived in Harpen all my life uh, and I wanted to do something personal to, to me and him really. Um, to sort of celebrate his life, and uh, I thought, why not run from Harpen to uh, Edinburgh? Why not? It's just one of these stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why not do it? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that I don't like the vibe. I don't like the sounds of running a nearly a marathon a day, and I don't like the sound of sprinting between cars either. <laughs> no, it says this part of the road isn't very safe, but it's basically the only way I can get there with uh, avoiding motorways, so I've just got to grin and bear it, really. Um, I mean, in terms of scenery, uh, the A68, it, it starts to get up really high. There's been lots of climb, uh, steep uh, steep climbs today. Um, and I'm really high up and there's great views for miles and miles around. So I'd say probably further north has been great in terms of views. But then equally further south where it's been busy, I've met lots and lots of nice people who have given lots of kind comments. So it's been great all over the place, really. And did the tail end of Hurricane Billy affect you at all? Uh, I'd like to sound dangerous and say yes, but no, not really. It's been a bit breezy, but that's about it. I hope so, yes, I hope so. And if people want to follow your progress, give us your website so they can look on there and track you down. Yep, it's www.rundobyrun.co.uk. That's what we need you to do. Run, Andrew Doby, run, and we'll catch up with you next week. Thanks, Lorna. Good luck this weekend as well. Andrew has just uh, been minding his own business, counting some money, and uh, we look out the window, and uh, we got some visitors. All appear to be having a watch, which is uh, just lovely. This one's coming over to say hello, and yeah, yeah, that sounds bizarre. Okay, I'm uh, pretty confident these guys think that we're going to feed them because, as you can see, they're <laughs> they're flying in from the other side of the field uh, to get a closer look. Need to ask Jenny; she'll know. Maybe, uh, maybe they listen to Three Counties Radio. <laughs> Heard your uh, your interview and uh, shot over to meet the celebrity, but they they're definitely getting quite excited about something because they they're getting closer. They're going to be in the van before long. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> so uh, I'm Andrew. No, didn't like that much. Hello. Hi. Right. Right. That was tough. How are, how are you going? <laughs> yeah, I think I ran about half of it, walked half of it. it amazing scenery. Bloody hell, yeah. That was, it was, I reckon, about 70% uphill. It was, it was amazing views and stuff, but yeah, it was pretty tough. Pretty tough. And the same problem as earlier, as soon as there's a car comes, you just kind of got to stop me out of the way. Uh, I'm a big fan of chicken, but then after it's cooked, so uh, cutting that up wasn't fun. But, uh,. Here she goes, so time to stir in this. This is going along bubblingly. Good. Oh. Now time for Uncle Ben to step up to the plate. And there she goes. Here is the dinner. Good hearty, good. Well, it looks good. This looks great hearty, I'm not going to lie to you. Let's go for some chicken first. I hope it's cooked. That's nice, that's nice. Do I get marks out of 10? Bearing in mind you gave Chris a 10. <laughs> but actually you meant an 8, you just told me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you... Uh... <laughs> Is that what to give you? Huh? I have tears from Chris. 8. You gave Chris a 10 then, didn't you? No. 0.5. 10.5, that would be me. 10.5, 10.5. Uh, and on that uh, curry note, that's, uh, that's good night from him, and good night from, uh, from me.